Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReviewed.com. Um, I'm hungry right now, and so I thought I would be happy with some eggs, sausage, and peas. The Mentalist Cookbook. But unfortunately, I am not happy at all with this product. Uh, this could be one of the worst products I've ever reviewed in the entire history of MagicReview.com. I gave it a half star rating, and as you know, I've given some products zero stars, so it's not the worst, but man, it's close. Half star, stone status of complete and utter rubble. Capital R, capital U, capital double B, capital L, capital E, exclamation freaking point. Um, so, on the surface, you might think, hey, three DVDs, 65 bucks, over 50 hours, 50 hours of video, like probably another 50 PDFs and, and JPEG files and audio files and uh, Word files and uh, uh, pu publisher files and PowerPoints and all that, all for only 65 bucks. You'd think that's a good deal, right? No, 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 no. So, first let me say, uh, you know when I review these products, I typically focus just on, you know, the ad copy and the method, and I'll talk a little bit about the effect, but I don't typically let the effect itself uh, impact the rating. Uh, or the performance. I mean, I've, there's several products that where the performance was terrible, but I still gave the product a good rating because the, the method was clever and it was doable in the hands of a good performer, it would be good. Um, this one, however, one of the selling points is that you get to see, quote, live footage of this performance. And so I have to give some, uh, let that impact the rating to some degree. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. First of all, those are not DVDs. They are DVD ROMs, which they're just data disks. So you have to put them in your computer, then download all the files from your computer or from the disks to your computer and then watch them that way. Or you can watch them directly on the DVD ROM, but it's just slower. So it's better to download them. Uh, so uh, there's a README file. This, this review is going to be so scattered, guys, because there's so much stuff to cover. Uh, I took notes while watching it. And uh, here's my stack of note cards that I use. Look at how thick that is. They're full of notes. Oh, that's the wrong way to flip it. There we go. Just full of notes. Oh, those are blank ones. Hey, sorry, there, I guess there's a blank stack in there, but still, there's a lot of notes on, on this uh, set. So it's not as thick as it looks, apparently. Sorry about that. Um, there, there's the blank ones. There we go. That's how thick it really is. Anyway, lots of notes. Um, and as however scattered this review turns out to be, multiply it by 10. And that's maybe starting to get a sense of how scattered Jonathan Royal is on stage. Um, so let's talk about that. The, the videos of the stage show you watch. It's a two-part show. And he has two videos of the first part, that, different venues, and then two videos of the second part. Something like that. At the beginning, first of all, the camera, like what you're watching right now is like a hundred times the production quality of what you're going to get on this this set here so the review you're watching 100 times better than the quality of this um, the cameras like at the back of the room it's not mic'd, it's not lit and you can see Jonathan uh, Royal up on stage barely but I'm not exaggerating with what I'm about to tell you the first 20 minutes 20 minutes of the video is nothing nothing it's 20 minutes of the camera pointed at the stage and maybe a few people are coming in and out getting ready to sit down and watch the show and that's it nothing then the show finally starts and then they do the same thing at the end where it leaves the camera rolling for an extra few minutes and all the videos had a similar problem like that terrible production quality terrible lighting terrible sound and just five minutes in the editing room would have fixed the the thing there with the 20 minutes at the beginning and a few minutes at the end in fact, they could have taken all four of those videos, cut out all the dead space, and put them onto one video, and uh, it would have been fine. Um, so that's, uh, I don't know if that's problem number one, but that is a problem on the list. Next, let's talk about the performance itself. Um, 
you get the standard mentalism classics, any card in any number, uh, a chair um, uh, test, you know, where you bring up five people from the audience, they sit down in a chair, and you've predicted which chair they would sit in. He doesn't use chairs. He uses little Hollywood Walk of Fame uh, stars, like printouts that he puts on the floor. So I did like the concept of that because it's you don't have to have chairs on the stage, and it's a more portable version. But it, the, the whole routine was not very good. But I like the concept. Um, so you get the, that. You get a tossed out deck. You get... It says there was a book test on there, and I, there might have been. I just don't remember it, so apparently it wasn't that memorable. Um, you get um, you get sort of a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, uh, Russian roulette. You get the you know the smash and stab with the spikes. Um, you get oh a design dupe, um, some ESP card stuff. Uh, nothing that shouts, oh, wow, this is new and original. It's all stuff that's been done before for the most part. I will say the only thing that I felt was original was his belly button reading, and that does have potential for comic comedy. Um, but um, he had, in one of the performances, he had two females up there with three males, and he makes them all lift up their shirt, reveal their belly button, and then he sticks his finger in their belly button and does a, quote, reading. Just to tacky. Um, I will admit there is potential for comedy there, but they're, they're one of the ladies for sure was very hesitant about doing it, and uh, he still made her do it. And uh, you know, I just I didn't I thought it was tacky, but the the concept is original and it does have some potential possibly. Um, the only other thing that I thought had potential was what he does with the toss out deck. He does a thing where he has has an audience member come on, come up on stage. They call one of their friends, and they get their friends to name out um, a couple of playing cards or, or tell the person on the phone the playing cards. She writes them down, and those are used as part of the tossed-up deck prediction. There is some potential there, I think. But the performances themselves, let's talk about that. Jonathan Royal could be one of the worst performers I've ever seen. I, I'm not trying to put the guy down. He seems like a nice enough guy. But the at least on these videos I watched, and I, now let me also say, he has a pretty huge following in the UK. He's made a lot of money as far as I know. Uh, he's done lots of TV shows and appearances and things like that. And there, you know, there was some footage from some of those shows where he was much better performer uh, on there. So maybe I'll take that statement back that he's not the worst performer I've seen. But but on the videos that you're learning the tricks from terrible performances first of all his design duplication he did it in two different shows and we get to see both films and he he missed both times he completely screwed up both times the method is not near as foolproof as he claims as you obviously see in the presentation um secondly uh let's see his uh, hollywood walk of fame the chair test he screwed that up in one of the video performances um, he does a thing where he gets the five people up on stage. He does the belly button reading. He does a pseudo psychometry thing with them. And then he also has them take uh, an ESP card off of a stand that's just got five cards on it and take it back to their desk. He's blindfolded, not their desk, but to their spot on the stage. He's blindfolded during this whole thing, so he doesn't see what's going on. He's blindfolded. Um, in the end, he got the ESP card predictions wrong, and it wasn't one of those things where he was trying to do that mentalism thing of, um, you know, oh, I missed one or whatever. No, he really missed. And he missed in both performances. And the method he uses, it's ridiculous. It's one, it's, it's, um, uh, he credits it in the thing. I can't remember, um, but you'll know it. It's the old uh, billiard ball thing, uh, the little tet thing where you, they take the billiard balls off and the, the actual device itself tells you. Um, which billiard ball was taken in which order. He uses that, a modified version of that, for the ESP cards. I'm thinking, first of all, when I say he's blindfolded, he's, you know, if you're a mentalist, you know when you're blindfolded with that, you know, there, there are things that you can do that make you not so blindfolded. That's what he was doing. So he wasn't even fully, truly blindfolded. And so if you're not really blindfolded, there's a million better ways to figure out who took which ESP card uh, and uh, memorize it. And he didn't use any of those. He used the most complicated method I can imagine, and he missed both times. So obviously not a good method. Uh, let's see, his any card at any number. Uh, there's actually some, his method for that's not bad. I don't care for that trick, but that's beside the point. 
His method for that wasn't bad. It's actually, if you watch the video trailer, that's what you'll see, is that performance of it. Uh, you probably won't be fooled, but it's, it's not a bad method. Now, um, <laughs> the, uh, his stage presence in general, every routine, he's like moving props around and he's putting stuff on the floor and he's, he's got this cluttered table that he keeps moving around the stage and he's got these music stands at the back that he's moving around. And as you watch the performance, he's, he's just so unscripted, unrefined, cluttered, messy, um, he's walking all over the stage. He's, he's, it's like he was doing the show for the first time ever and he'd never practiced it, never practiced the tricks, never practiced the re the rehearsal of the actual stage presence. Uh, like he, like the whole thing was just done on the fly right there, which maybe it was except for the fact that you're watching two performances of it. So obviously he'd done it at least one other time in one of the videos, but they both looked as just terrible. Terrible stage presence. I would have been very, very disappointed if I had paid money to see that show. Very disappointed. Now, were there some moments that were okay? Yes, there were some decent moments. Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I, I mean, there can't not have been, right? Um, I'll give you one example of a bad moment. He has a trick where he says to somebody out in the audience, um, think of a celebrity, think of a, a song, and then imagine the two of you singing this duet um, in some venue. Think of those three things. We'll get back to that later. He writes something down, puts it aside. The show goes on like a half an hour later, almost as an afterthought. He goes, oh, wait, there was a prediction earlier. And, and um, let me get it. And he reads it out. And he's all, uh, you know, uh, David, Le I'm trying to think of the example that he gave, but I can't. So I'm just going to go. David Letterman and the song is Somewhere Over the Rainbow and we're performing it at the Roof Restaurant in Salt Lake City, Utah. He reads that as a prediction. Then he points to another person that was not the person thinking of those three items and they've got an envelope that he gave them earlier. They open the envelope and it matches what he said. What kind of trick is that? Where's the, the effect? He never checks with the person who, who thought of the three items to see if that's what they were they she never that person never verifies anything it was just a really stupid awkward thing um a lot of the performances were like that there were several times where this uh the celebrity thing with the stars the chair test uh there were several times in that where there were supposed to be these little moments little hits and they were all just extremely confusing i didn't feel like there was any magic going on at all i just didn't understand what the effect was supposed to be and then the final quote reveal even that was pretty weak. It just wasn't a good effect. Uh, it wasn't entertaining. Um, on and on and on. So you get the gist of it. The production quality of the videos, terrible. The performance of the show, terrible. The methods. Okay, let's take this ESP card thing he does towards the end of the show. That is an effect where it's will the cards match. The old Larry Becker thing where you tear the cards in half and you do the will the cards match and you're using the, the Gilbreath principle and I think the Stay Stack principles involved and all these other principles that are way smarter than me uh, are involved. Well, he does that with five ESP cards, um, or at 10, and you end up with the ESP cards matching. That's not original, actually. That's uh, Go read for $7, get Max Maven's book, Redivider. I think it was still published under Phil Goldstein, but, but uh, under his original name, Phil Goldstein. But go read that book. Go buy that book for seven bucks. Go buy 10 copies of that book for $70 and it'd be better spent than this DVD set here or this DVD ROM set here. In Redivider, there are several effects that use that Will the Cards Match concept that are much better, much cleaner and um, work better. And and the ESP thing, it's not a bad idea, uh, and but he doesn't really add anything. doesn't really bring anything to the table. It's not that great of an effect of a performance of it. Uh, the method is clever, obviously, it's, it's uh, the old Becker thing and the, the principles behind it are super clever, so, but that, uh, again, it's just not, the methods are not overwhelmingly exciting to me. Um, some of them don't even work, as you saw in the performance when he kept screwing them up. Further, much of the material in his act is not his own creations, it's marketed products. For example, uh, one of the versions of the Smash and Stab he does is actually Randy Rain's version, and it's about 200 bucks. which what you're getting for the 200 bucks is worth it to me. In fact, you're better off spending the 200 bucks on her thing and forget about this thing. Um, 
But he, he uses that, and he does expose that method. He got Randy Rain's permission to do so. But many of the other effects that he does that belong to other creators and performers, he does not teach, and he actually says, you have to buy this product to A, be able to perform it, and B, to um, for me to teach it to you. I cannot teach it to you because I do not own it. So the ad copy claims that there's in-depth teaching. Well, a lot of the time he didn't teach anything because it wasn't his effect. The few things he did teach were either so dry and boring that I wanted to just, you know, fall asleep and do violent things to myself, but or they were glossed over and he just kept saying things like, well, just refer back to the performance or you guys know this principle or go back to that. It just wasn't covered in detail. And the, by the way, the the you know, I sort of can almost forgive the poor quality of the video shoot of the performance because, you know, it's a it's a show and he just throws a camera in the back of the room and, and he can't really do a lot. He's up there performing. But teaching the methods, I mean, come on. It was just as bad. It was terrible. It wasn't mic'd. It was not lit pr properly. On and on and on. We're already at like 15 minutes on this video here. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's a long review. Um, so, uh, methods. There really was nothing revolutionary there. The effects were, I mean, they're all classic, so they're good effects, but he didn't perform them very well. Um, then, uh, so I, I think I mentioned earlier, there's a README document that comes with this, a README first document. You open it up and it tells you, okay, watch this video, then watch that video, then listen to this audio file, then watch that video. and Very confusing. And then he refers to the videos by names that don't match up with the file names of the videos on the DVD-ROMs. So it took me a minute to figure out what the heck he was talking about. Um, there's some stuff on the ad copy that talks about like a tarot reading, astrology reading, uh, a hypnotist show. I didn't see any of that anywhere on the DVD-ROMs. It might be there. Um... I, I don't know if it's there or not. It's very confusing how much stuff is on here. I was half tempted to do a screencast of me walking through the, the DVD files on my computer, but that was just going to add like 10 minutes to this video already, and I don't want to do that. Um, last, he claims that in all cases, right here on this and on the website, in all cases, you are granted legal performance rights. That's not even true. Um, there's one particular trick. It's... Uh, Water on the brain, it's a prediction effect, which it's not that great. It has a clever little gimmick that's involved. And by gimmick, I don't mean a secret gimmick. I mean, a, you know, when we talk about like a sales gimmick or a, or a uh, you know, an advertising gimmick, it's more of that kind of gimmick um, that is, that's kind of involved. It's a, a weird little prop where two images that are sitting on the stage the whole time, when you bring them together as like transparencies, they form another thing that's kind of cool. Um, but that's it's Kennedy's effect. It's not um, it's not uh, Jonathan Royal's effect. It's Kennedy's, and in he includes it with the DVD ROM, right? But then in the README file, he says you're not allowed to use it unless you purchase it. So basically, he's given us a pirated copy of this Kennedy effect. Just do I need to keep going, guys? Do I need to keep going? I there's a few redeeming. I wouldn't call them redeeming qualities. A few okay qualities. I do applaud the, the idea of trying to include every prop and every file and all that with the DVD, but it was so cluttered and messy and just so hard to find. What I would have done, if this were my thing, I would have cut all of the dead space on the, the show, the, the, you know, the beginning of the, and the ends. Um, I would have edited the two parts together so it was one show instead of two videos. It was just one complete show. I would have edited that, that together. I would have eliminated some tricks, frankly. There was just some tricks that were just stupid and made no sense. But assuming I left the terrible quality of the performance intact, I would have at least edited it down to one video. And uh, I would have made it a DVD, not a DVD-ROM. And then as far as the inclusion of some of the, the pictures and stuff, yes, I would have probably included those as PDFs or image files or whatever. And then all the other stuff, he has all these just PDFs and all this stuff that links off to a bunch of other YouTube videos that I just did not watch. I mean, I only watched the 10 hours that are on the DVD-ROM, and that was enough. That was enough. Kind of like this review. I'm done. I think you got the point, guys. If you have any questions, because this is such a crazy product to review, if you have any questions, shoot me an email or post a comment in the on the magicreview.com section where I review this. Um, but bottom line, I cannot recommend this product. 
you worked way too hard for your 65 bucks to waste it on this. In fact, you'd be better off going out and buying $65 worth of actual eggs, sausage, and peas at Denny's than you would be buying this product. Questions, comments, whatever, let me know. That's it for this review. Let's go for the uh, brand of my two song of the moment. And today we have, yes, White Lightning by George Jones. I love this song. Well, in North Carolina, way back in the hills, little my old baby honey had. Yeah, that's a great song. Classic, classic country right there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This review is almost 20 minutes long, so I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch it and hopefully I saved you 65 bucks. I'll see you guys on my next review. Peace and out.